Yeah, there's a trick that I want everyone to kind of be familiar with, and that trick is to uh, remember that you've done calculus before. So uh, here's what I want to do. I want to write this as the sum, as k goes from zero to n, of k times n choose k times x to the k minus one evaluated at x equals one. That's the same, right? Now, you might say, well, I could kind of put in any power of x here. Why did I choose the k minus first power of x? What's that? What's that thing that I underlined in yellow? Is that, what's k times x to the k minus 1? Is that the derivative of something? Oh, it's the power rule. It's the derivative. That's the power rule, right? So check it out. This is the derivative with respect to x of the sum as k goes from 0 to n of n choose k x to the k evaluated at x equals one, right? Do we believe that? Yeah. And now what, what does, what I've learned is called important formula. That's like if we were to evaluate it at x equals one before taking the derivative, it's two to the n. Yeah, that's good. This is like, um, this is like the next version of that example, that two to the n example. But what's this thing that's green underlined? Notice I stopped it before the evaluation and I started it after the derivative. Where y is something to the n minus k. No, but what's y in this case? One. Yeah, one. Yeah. So this is x plus one yeah. to the n evaluated at x equals one. Now, is that something you could have done in calculus one class? So what's the derivative of x plus one to the n? According to calculus one, I don't know, right? Is it like n? You know the chain rule, hopefully. No, it's just the chain rule. I'm I'm thinking too hard. N times one. Yeah, n times x plus one to the n minus one times times one. One. Yeah. One times one plus zero. Oh, now if we evaluate that at one, we've got it. This is n times two to the n minus one. 